Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Ignite Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Ignite are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. Okay, Darren, here's a quick question for you. If I've got corn, how many pounds are in a bushel? Well, 56. 56 is the standard number. If you had <laughs> 5,600 pounds of corn, you'd say, well, you have 100 bushels. Okay, but then what's the test weight on all corn in the United States? What's going to be the test weight on a bushel of corn? Well, it's going to vary. It's going to vary. You know, some's going to be right. above 56, <laughs> others going to be below. It's funny because I go in certain areas of the country and I'll talk to somebody and I'll say, man, I've got heavy test weight corn. I say, what's that? Oh, 55 pounds. And then I go in other areas, oh, if I don't have at least 60 pound test weight corn, it's a disaster. I can't, I can't imagine having less test weight than that. Okay, so basically here's what it amounts to. What we're talking about is a bushel of corn weighs 56 pounds, okay? And the reason why they came up with that years and years and years ago is because it was very difficult to figure out exactly how you're going to sell something as voluminous as corn. So they, they designed these bushel baskets and you filled the bushel basket to that point, well, there's your bushel, okay? But the thing is today, we do everything by weight since we have fancy truck scales and I mean, even on grain carts, heck, on uh, combines, we have ways to measure how many pounds are going through that combine. So we have a pretty good idea on yield based on pounds, has very little to do with actual bushels, we do it all by pounds, okay? Well, with corn and with any crop that's out there, if you take a bushel of corn now and you look at what is the real test weight of it, what, why is there a difference? Why is some 60 pounds? Why is some 54 pounds? Some is 50, some might be 62. What is it? Well, it really speaks to the quality of that corn. When you think about corn fields, you say, now does it make a big difference during the growing season what your yield is gonna be? Absolutely. You're gonna have more kernels, bigger ears, maybe more ears and if basically, you have great, great growing conditions and you yeah. do everything right along the way with plant nutrition. And basically and so these kernels are just going to be that much more dense. So the same kernel is going to weigh just a little bit more in some cases than in others. You know, it's the same thing. If you had a garden, for example, and everything went wrong, you let the weeds go, you didn't get enough rain, you didn't put any plant food out there, you know, you could still probably raise some tomatoes, but they probably aren't going to be as good as if you had no weeds competing plenty of plant food so the plants could bring in lots of nutrition, they're going to pack that all into that seed because they want to produce seed that's going to last for years and years. So they want, you know, a plant, if you didn't touch it, would drop those seeds and they would grow again next year. So like in the case of corn, when you've got everything right out there, you're going to have a little higher test weight seed. It's going to be a little more dense. When you have a, a low test weight seed, like for example, if you had an early frost and your corn wasn't quite mature, now all of a sudden you may have a lower test weight, lower quality seed that's more susceptible to diseases, insects, all these other problems that could cause it not to grow next year. Yeah, the other thing is in storage, when you're storing grain in a bin, if the test weight is very low, then you're most likely going to have more potential problems with molds, fungus with well the, the bugs kernel sometimes. itself is actually a little softer yep. when you have a little heavier test weight corn uh, most often the thing that farmers will notice is it's a little bit harder seed it's a little bit more protected yeah, it's a little heavier and, and it's going to end up being better feed for your livestock and, and a better kernel going forward so the reason why we're talking about this today, if you're a non-farmer, we just wanted you to understand this is a big deal for farmers because let's say, for example, like on our farm this year, we had a lot of 60 pound test weight corn. Some years we'll have 54 pound test weight corn. So we're talking about a 10% difference there. Well, 10% in the field could be as much as $100 an acre. $100 an acre we're talking about. We farm, well, usually we have 1,500 acres of corn. So, I, I mean, you're talking about a tremendous amount of money that we've got there just based on the test weight of the crop. And like Darren said, if we can do everything possible to raise a good crop and we have a nice growing season and all that, we have the heavier test weight corn and that basically translates to more total yield and more total income for farmers. Well, there's a lot of things that can help farmers earn more money. Getting higher test weight grain is one, but controlling our weed of the week could be another. Can you identify this week's weed? 